welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I live in Louisiana and I am so grateful that you stopped by for a visit today. So why don't you grab yourself a drink, maybe a snack, and a project to work on and let's visit. Well hey friends, thanks for joining me at my desk today. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It is Saturday. And I'm just taking it slow and easy today and enjoying my day of nothing. <laughs> my exciting day of doing nothing. That is exciting sometimes. <laughs> Especially when you don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I am working on my happy birthday granny rectangle blanket. It is rectangle. And I have been working on this blanket throughout the month of April and it's growing but slowly but I can tell it's finally growing at one point I thought it's not growing <laughs> and so I am just going to crochet on this blanket while we chat and I answer some of your questions that you left in the previous video and then also um, just tell you what's going on and about mine and Big Daddy's day on Friday and things like that. So, yeah. But I do hope you're having a good day. What are you up to today? Are you having a busy weekend? Are you having a slow, relaxed weekend? Uh, Big Daddy said last night, he said, what do you want to do tomorrow? I said, recover from today? <laughs> That goat we went to Shreveport on Friday for a doctor's visit, and that is a long, hard trip on me. By the time we get over there, I'm wore out, <laughs> and by the time we get home, I'm really wore out. So, yeah, it's a long trip, and it does a lot to, it takes a lot from my body to do that. But anyway, we left out here Friday morning. Well, Big Daddy went to work first and then he came home and picked me up and we left out of here and, and run a couple errands around town i wanted to go to five below and pick up some more of those little um pet glasses but not for my pets i want them for my dolls and actually i bought some more well here's a pair i had bought these the other day i showed these to you guys um, I see they have little short arms and they fit those Blythe dolls perfectly and the face fits them it fits on their face perfectly um, the Blythe doll glasses don't have this and even though that's it doesn't really the band part I may cut that but this rubber part really does help so I may cut that and then I can use that rubber part if that's tubing, which it feels like, well, no, it's not. I thought it might be tubing, but it's not. If it was, I could put it on a pair of Blythe doll glasses that I already have. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I bought some more of these exact ones, and I'm going to paint them. So, yeah, that's my plan. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we went by there, and I ran in and got my glasses, and those are only $3 a pair, so that's a really good price. And then we stopped at Sonic and got some tea. I got tea. I don't think Big Daddy got anything. Um, and then I said, okay, let's go to West Monroe and find the duck. And he said, well, look up and see what street it's on. I said, we're going to see it. And Big Daddy was like, well, look it up so I'll know where to go. And I'm like, just go to West Monroe downtown. We'll see the duck. Okay, this is the world's largest rubber duck. It's six stories high. We're going to see the duck, right? <laughs> we don't have to look it up. The duck is going to be waving at us. And so he was a little aggravated with me because I wouldn't look it up. But I was like, why would I look it up? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and then he said can we see it from the interstate i said i don't know i hadn't been down the interstate we got up um the interstate as we was crossing over the washita river to west monroe there's the duck we could see it right down there 
So, we went and saw the duck, and I'm going to pop in a little video clip right here of us going up and seeing the duck, driving up to it. Hey guys, well look at there, we see the yellow duck up ahead, and so we could spot it from the interstate actually, it is huge. It is six stories high, and so I don't know how many feet that is, but it's pretty big duck. Um, I'm not even sure what they were doing out there that day. Um, it was raining a little bit, and but there was people around it. I guess some vehicles of companies that sponsored the duck being here or something, maybe. I don't know. Skyjackers. They have Jeeps and stuff. I don't know. But anyway, so that was the duck. We're going to drive around from another area this is downtown west monroe louisiana and so we just went and made the block and come back from the other direction just so that we could see the front of the duck instead of just the back of the duck but they have a fun weekend planned for people who want to go out and have fun this weekend <laughs> people who want to have fun can go have fun people who want to stay home can stay home <laughs> But that's the duck. There was a little baby duck there beside it. And I had a duck doll in my purse that I was going to pull out to take a picture with the duck and forgot. That duck is huge. They say it's six foot, no, six stories high. I don't know how high that really is, but it's supposed to be the world's largest rubber duck. So today in my town on the Washita River, they're having duck races. I don't know that much about it. Um, I think it's for a fundraiser. I'm not even sure what the fund is, what it's going towards. I have no idea. Duck Commander sponsored it. Duck Dynasty. Um, they sponsored it, and so... I'm not sure. I'm just not even sure. But anyway, I think people could adopt a duck for $10, and then they'll race the ducks on the Washita River, and then collect the ducks at the um, ending finish line or whatever. Anyway, we did not get up to go see that today because <laughs> I knew we weren't going to because it's, you know, the day after that big trip to Shreveport, and it takes a lot out of me and so I don't know how that all went or whatever this morning it was raining here this morning when I woke up I heard it pouring down rain I thought well that's great <laughs> just what we need more rain <laughs> and plus I was thinking this weekend they're having a lot of river fest activities and so there's a lot of stuff going on down at the river and so I hated that it was raining for their uh, markets and stuff that they're doing. I know there's um, like some outdoor vending type things and stuff. So I hate it's raining for them. But it's cleared up right now. No, well, it's not sunny and pretty. But it's a cloudy day with um, some little showers here and there. Anyway, so we saw the duck and then we went over to the bakery where our son Dakota works to see him for a minute before we ran out of town. And I ended up getting a Taylor Swift cupcake. They had, um, a, a Taylor Swift had a new album. I'm not a Swifty. <laughs> I'm not a Swifty. But I, I will listen to some of her music. I mean, I don't have anything against Taylor Swift. I will listen to some of her music, but I'm not like gaga over Taylor Swift. I do have her... Is it... I do have her last CD that come out. Not this one, but the one before. Is it 1989 or something like that? I do have that CD in the car. But, um... Dakota had made some Taylor Swift cupcakes and so we went over and got a cupcake well I don't know what Big Daddy got he got something but I don't I didn't pay attention to what he got 
and I got a cupcake. So I will show you some pictures of those cupcakes right here. And the last one will be the cupcake that I chose. Those were cute. And they were selling those all day long. And they kept having to make more. And then they ended up just taking Oreo cookies and dipping them in chocolate. And putting the little, it's edible paper that they print on. They have a printer that's all edible. And they're just printing those pictures of Taylor Swift on them. So they started just putting those on Oreo cookies. <laughs> Because they couldn't keep up with the cupcakes. Isn't that silly? That people, you know, are just coming in to buy those cupcakes because they're Taylor Swift. So I don't know how it did after they had to change to Oreo cookies. <laughs> with Taylor Swift's picture. Funny. That's too funny. Anyway. Um, and then we got on the interstate and booked it down to I-20, headed towards Shreveport. And today I am drinking some caramel coffee with a peak bunny who's lost his ears. They've melted in there now. But uh, that's what I'm drinking today. I almost forgot about it. Oh, that is good. And it's cool here today. It's like 60 degrees. Well, it might be 56 according to my Alexa. Up here on her screen it says 56. So we're having a cool day, which I'm not complaining about. I'll wait and complain when we have the 100, 100 degrees of summer, okay? <laughs> I'm going to save my complaining for those days. Now, I like a nice, cool day like we're having today. Um, just a light, you know, um, blanket pulled around you. Or even just if I had a long sleeve shirt on, it would be I'd be fine. But sometimes I do have to pull my blanket up on me. And Phoebe's been in the chair with me this morning, so she kept me warm. But she just got down when I went to get my coffee. She got down and got in her puppy bed. But anyway, guys, we made it to Shreveport and went to my um, pain pump doctor. He raised my medication by 20%. And I'm going to go back in about two weeks, I think it is, and um, have, and they will um, fill my pain pump that's inside my abdomen. They will fill that with medication. And I, he said that they're going to put a higher concentrate of medication this time and see if that doesn't help me more. So we'll see. But that won't be done in the doctor's office. That will be done in a procedure room at the hospital. So I didn't know that. I thought it would just be done in a doctor's office. And they was like, no, it'll be done in the hospital. So, but it's not an overnight stay or anything like that. Thank goodness. It's just to get it done and go home type thing. <laughs> so, anyway, um, then what did we do? Oh, we went and got something to eat after that. We were starving by then. And so we went to the Blind Tiger. And to get something to eat and so we're sitting in the window of that that's a cool little restaurant it's just a it's a cool place to hang out and eat and enjoy your lunch with your loved one and so we're just sitting there and we you know watching the street watching people walk by and cars go by and all that all of a sudden a bunch of police cars come flying up with their lights on and making all kinds of racket noise and they blocked the traffic 
Okay, they totally blocked the traffic and sat there. And I was like, what is going on? Like, you know, we're just looking out the window like, what's happening? What's going on? Oh, my goodness, you know. Well, then here come a whole row, a line of black SUVs. It was probably about six of these black SUVs just come rolling through there. And we're just like, what? What is going on? Who is this? What is happening? Is the president here? I don't know. <laughs> y'all, y'all never going to guess who that was. I mean, I don't, you, you probably wouldn't guess because this person's probably not on your radar. They're not on my radar. They're not in my story, you know, line. Like, I don't know anything about this person. I had to look up information because I didn't know. <laughs> they come flying up through there and all these SUVs and then the people at the restaurant started saying who it was 50 Cent do you know who 50 Cent is? well good for you because I did not I had to look it up he is a rapper musician and I guess an actor also and so he had bought a building right there by this restaurant and um, I, I don't know what he's doing with that building. I guess a studio, a recording, I, I have no idea. But anyway, so they got out and I guess they were down there at that building where he, where he, that he bought. I guess they were there for a little bit. The cops were still there flashing their lights and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, what is the deal? They're doing all that for a, this rapper that I never even heard of? <laughs> I mean, it's not like it was Elvis. <laughs> and so, anyway, then the 50 Cent and a whole bunch of his crew, whatever, bodyguards, I don't know what the people are, they all come down there and walked, they walked over there where we were eating. And so they were outside on the sidewalk. And so everybody in the restaurant's like looking and talking and saying all kinds of things, you know. And I'm just listening to them and learning like, you know, what's going on. <laughs> and so um, they were out there on the sidewalk right outside the window. And so we're just like, okay, hmm. Well, we're just here to eat lunch, okay? <laughs> Like, I don't know, this guy did not impress me, right? He didn't impress me because I don't even know who he is. And so, we ate. They finally went on down a little bit further um, past our window. And then we, we finished up with our meal and then left. And we left out. It was still cop cars out there everywhere. Like Big Daddy said, well, if you, somebody was going to rob a bank in Shreveport, this would be the day to do it because all the cops are over here. <laughs> and so we, we've gotten our vehicle and left and went to Hobby Lobby. We went over to Hobby Lobby and um, I wanted to get some scrapbook paper. I want, I got something back at Christmas, some shelves, and I'm gonna set up like some doll rooms for some photography and just to display my dolls. Um, and I never, we never have opened them and put those shelves together. So while we were eating lunch, I was telling Big Daddy that I wanted him to put those together this weekend. And he said, well, where are you going to put these shelves? And I said, in my doll room. And he said, where in your doll room? Like, you going to hang them from the ceiling or what? <laughs> I said, yes. Yes, that's what I plan on doing. <laughs> I do have a place that I'm going to put them. I have plans for them. So I was telling him what I wanted to do. And so he said, well, do you want to go to Hobby Lobby and look for um, paper to go on the walls of the rooms? And I said, yeah, let's do that. So 
we went to Hobby Lobby and I ended up I, I looked at the individual sheets of paper and got I think I got a couple for flooring and maybe some for walls and then Big Daddy was looking at the pads of paper and he said this is cute and this is like colors that you like and so I looked and it was three sheets of each page so I ended up getting that because it was 40% off and the paper was all 40% off too and stickers were 40% off but I didn't I wanted to look through all that but Big Daddy was um, not feeling so well. I mean, he could only walk or stand so much. Um, I mean, he, I was surprised he even went in the store because he just can't stand there and walk around too much. So, um, and the only reason why he probably did go in is because, um, you know, he hadn't worked. Uh, he did go into work, but just for a couple hours. And so I guess he, you know, hadn't used up all his steps for the day. Because that's what he said when we left there. He said, I think I unused all my steps. <laughs> um, but anyway, I got some scrapbook paper. And I really wanted to look at the stickers while they were on sale. But I knew he was hurting. So I hurried it up. Oh, and I got some doubles. I did get some, as I see right here beside me, I did get some um, double-sided tape. I asked this lady if they had some double-sided tape. She said, yeah, it's right over here. And she took me this out and handed me a $7.50 roll of tape. I said, oh, no, ma'am. Y'all don't have scotch tape? And she said, nope, this is what we have. And I said, okay, well, thank you, but I'll look somewhere else. I was not paying $7.50 for a roll of tape, right? And so, as we were leaving, I saw an end cap with tape on it. And it had some double-sided tape for $2.99. <laughs> Which it might even be a little bit cheaper than Walmart, but I don't know when I'm going to Walmart. But yeah. And then we, um, after we got, we, uh, we went and got gas, gassed up the car, and headed home. So what we did, oh, and we went back by that place on our way back home. We passed by that restaurant again. And, the cop cars were still out there and the whole line of black SUVs was all still out there. So I don't know what all they had going on, but I didn't want to be a part of it. <laughs> we just wanted to get out of the way and let them do their thing. So anyway, that's how our Friday went. How did your day go? And now we are just, you know relaxing and enjoying uh, big daddy just i heard him in there fixing something to eat just now so i guess he's got something to eat back there and i'm gonna tie on my pink my bright beautiful pink and i did not crochet any yesterday like even when we got home oh i was so wore out i was so tired I didn't crochet any. I barely could even just, um, I barely could even think. But let me tell y'all this, because we're, because we're funny. <laughs> we're funny like this. So when we ate at the restaurant and 50 Cent was out on the sidewalk right outside the window, um, after we left, I text the kid text our kids i said i'm gonna text the kids and tell them we had lunch with 50 cent i mean he was on the other side of the window but we t still had lunch with him <laughs> right and so i said i was gonna text dakota he and big day said dakota ain't even gonna know who that is text elijah so i text elijah 
I text both of them separately that we just had lunch with 50 Cent. And Dakota texts back and said, where? And I said, in Shreveport at the Blind Tiger. We ate at the Blind Tiger. Well, Elijah texts back and said, what? And put the emoji laughing with the crying, you know. And so I text him back and said, yeah, um, times when you don't feel like your parents are cool, you just remember they're 50 cent cool. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that's we do things like that <laughs> we're always texting our kids weird stuff just to get a response out of them sometimes i text them really weird stuff because at, like dakota because i know he's at work and i know he's gonna be like you ain't gonna believe what my mom just texts me <laughs> i do stuff like that all the time to them and anytime i do something weird I text it to them um, for sure just so they don't forget how weird their mama is <laughs> uh, so now I'm adding them out pretty pink around that and that just looks so pretty I love that um, somebody had asked me about the yarn club they wanted to know, did the Yarn Club, did I tell them about my YouTube channel? No. I never tell anybody about my YouTube channel. Um, I mean, unless they already know I have a YouTube channel, we might discuss it or talk something about it. But normally, I don't just tell people, oh, I have a YouTube channel. I mean, there's people who know me, know me, but don't know I have a YouTube channel. That's just not something I go around talking about so no i did not tell the crochet group that i have a youtube channel um the, I, I mean i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna tell them that <laughs> they'll have to stumble up that on that themselves yeah i don't ever tell people Sometimes Big Daddy will, like if we're buying yarn and or something, he will tell somebody or say something. And I, I'm embarrassed when he says that. I don't know why, but I get embarrassed. And I'm just like, hush. <laughs> uh, and someone was asking me in the last video about um, the house next door, if my dad or parents had bought that house did they ever live there no they lived in west monroe uh my mama wouldn't have lived out here for nothing in the world um <laughs> and so no the house sat there empty at one point um my brother had a girlfriend that lived over there for a short time and then at one time, my dad thought he was helping some people out. Like a guy he worked with asked him about letting somebody live over there. And so my dad thought he was helping them out, which turned out to be a mess. A big, big mess. So they only stayed there like for one summer and then they were gone. And um, it's just empty. That house is empty. Nobody lives there. Mm. Nobody has lived there. Um, except for the summer that some people stayed over there. <clears throat> Nobody's lived there since my mother-in-law moved out, really. And my, my brother's girlfriend did for a little bit, like, as she was changing her locations she stayed there for a little bit um favorite tv program let's see well i don't have like tv channels um like i don't even know what the tv channels are called but i don't have like local tv channels or i don't have like a satellite or um I can't think of what you call it. I guess a satellite. We don't have that. 
um, I have some streaming stations. So I probably don't watch anything like that's happening right now unless it streams one day and then it shows up on a streaming channel like the next day something like that but i'm probably not watching anything like current that's on tv <laughs> that i can think of um but my favorite tv programs is i don't know i like i like um mystery detective type shows that's the kind of tv i watch um on the streaming channels and i like little short ones and then i like long ones also so um i'm just started watching this new new series that's come out on hulu it's called the girls under the bridge and so they have two episodes out so far and I'm going to watch that. I did watch some of it already, and it really has pulled me in. So I, I'm going to watch that. But And let's see. Um, somebody asked me, have I ever painted on crochet? That's very interesting. I have not. The only the closest thing to that I've ever done is like on an amigurumi, um, adding cheeks, yes. you know, making rosy cheek, pink cheeks on an amigurumi. That's the closest I've ever done for anything like that. And then uh, someone asked me what if I used a K tail knitter. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It was a K space T E L space knitter is the way they typed that out. I've never heard of it. So I don't know what it is. I, I guess I'll have to look that up. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of what it is. Mmm. All right, let's see. Um, someone asked me about Miller Road. Yes, it is named after Big Daddy's family. His um, great-grandfather cleared the roads out here. It was just woods, um, maybe um, some trails or something. This was back during the, you know, horse riding days. And so he was one of the ones clearing the roads and so he did name that over there Miller Road and before this area even had road names it was known as Bristol Ridge and so early in our homeschool when we first started homeschooling we needed to name our school because we registered as a private school and so i needed a name for our private school but i wanted it to be something meaningful and you know i just wanted a good name for it and as we were researching some stuff to come up with a name um, big daddy was on the building committee at the church and so he was going through a lot of stuff down there and we needed to talk to his uncle to um, get some correct information and so while we were talking to him he mentioned both this area before there was roads names that it was considered Bristol Ridge and so I thought that was interesting because people don't know that today you know and so that's what we ended up naming our school was Bristol Ridge and we also that's what we call our homestead here is Bristol Ridge homestead so back in the day <laughs> when my kids were home we did a lot of homestead type things um, you know we grew we had little gardens, raised bed gardens. We had chickens and all kinds of animals, um, goats, sheep, 
every bird you can think of. <laughs> We've done all kinds of stuff out here. Um, and so we, we named our piece of land property here Bristol Ridge Homestead. And so our school was Bristol Ridge Academy. So anyway, that's, that's the story of that. Um, and then somebody asked, can we burn where we live? Yes, we can. Um, like, we can have a burn barrel to burn garbage, but then eventually that burn, that barrel is going to need emptying, and Big Daddy's not in any kind of shape to do that. So, and we have a barrel out here that does need emptying, but, um, yeah, Big Daddy's just not in any kind of shape to do that. So, we don't. We do have garbage service that sometimes comes and sometimes don't. Sometimes we get the garbage out to the road and sometimes we don't. Um, it depends on if Big Daddy can get it out there or not. Um, he has, you know, like some knee issues where his knee's been backwards. And it's bone on bone. It hurts him to walk. So, um, some days he just can't get it out there. And so we just had to skip garbage service that day. And I did try to contact them and told them that, you know, sometimes we just can't get, get it out there. And um, so she said she would make note of that in the computer and maybe they would get our garbage can, but that's never happened. So, <laughs> so if we get it out there, we get it out there. If we don't, we don't. Um, and somebody asked about if if I make the chicken scoop soup from scratch. No, honey, no, no. <laughs> um, we don't make I don't make that from scratch. I um I buy it in a can. That's the way to go for us because I'm not in there like trying to pick up pots and pans and dropping stuff and making more messes. I'm not about that. And then Big Daddy, he can't stand in there to do stuff like that. Um, his knees just hurt him too bad. So we're we're all about the fast, convenient, get it and go type stuff. That that's I mean, I'm sure it is better if it's made from scratch, but that's not happening in our house. <laughs> so we just we just doing the best we can. And making the best of it. But anyway, guys, I hope you all are enjoying your weekend and your day. Get some more of my coffee. My rabbit has melted. Those two little black dots are his eyes. And that third black dot's his nose. <laughs> But my marshmallow has melted into my coffee, so that's going to be yummy to drink. Anyway, guys, my plans for the rest of the day is to crochet on this. I'm going to get Big Daddy to put together those shells, maybe, if he can. If that's something he can set at the table and do get him to put those shelves together and maybe get those into the doll room and um, then I can start putting together some little scenes in those shelves and such. I'm just trying to find something to do to keep myself busy and to, um, you know, bring me some joy, <laughs> bring me some joyfulness and keep my mind distracted from everything else going on in this world and with my body and all that. So, looking for something for some happiness and joy back there. So, I'm going to create some um, shelves and scenes, like little room for some doll photography. 
So I will let you get going. That's my plans for the weekend. You can let me know what you're doing. If you have any questions for me, just feel free to jot that down in the comment section here on YouTube. Um, and I will try to answer that if it's something I can answer. If I don't know the answer to it, I can't answer it. <laughs> Uh, some people have asked, how's my mom doing? I have no idea. I don't even know where she's at. Um, my brother put her somewhere, and I don't know where she's at. So, I can't answer that question. But guys, it's a beautiful day to crochet. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video, friends.